Hi everyone, I'm Carlo from Downtown Music. Uh, we've recently got three Black Beauty Gibson Les Pauls into the store, so I thought we'd put a demo together to explain <coughs> the different features on all the three different models. This particular one that I've got in my hand at the moment is a Les Paul Custom. Uh, by the serial number, the first and fifth number, tells me it's made in 1980, which makes this guitar 30 years old. Now, it has a mahogany back and side, uh, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length in the neck and as you, as you can see with the customs they come out with five bindings front back and you normally have it around the headstock as well with a little crown on the top <coughs> these particular guitars I'm very fond of as I my first Gibson Les Paul was a Les Paul custom when I was about 12 years old and they are absolutely beautiful to play this one feels a bit like the fretless wonder the action is so close, it's unbelievable. In a few minutes, I'll run through the features of this guitar and run through all the sounds of the pickups. Let me just quickly run through the features of this Les Paul Custom for you. It's a solid mahogany neck, back and sides on this guitar. We've got an ebony fingerboard and five-way binding around the front and back of the guitar and around the headstock. Most customs come out with uh, gold hardware. This particular one, it's 30 years old, it's made in 1980 and feels and plays sensational. As you get closer to the neck of the guitar you tend to get a very warm sort of tone, so more of a jazzy, that sort of jazzy sort of tone. Well, when you're playing rock and roll and more bluesy type tones and you're playing chords you, you tend to have a That's quite a good, nice tone for rhythms. Once again, I'm using the treble pickup here. When you're in the middle mode, you're actually using both pickups. Down in the bottom mode, just going back to it, you've got volume and treble. In the top mode, you've got volume and treble for your front pickup. In the middle, you've got all four controls working. At any one stage, if you do have any of the two volume controls down, you will get no sound out of your guitar. So, but if you turn it up a little bit, that's a pretty cool effect for when you're in a dirty mode and you want to be doing uh, things like... Uh... Those feedback sort of effects and actually use your switch to give you that sound. Now just quickly running through the dirty modes of this guitar. There you go, I'm on the treble pickup and this gives me a really cool dirty chord sound. If I did that on the front pickup, we'll have a listen what it sounds like. Turning the volume up. Now for me, that's a little bit muddy. So let's go back to the treble pickup and we've got this sound again. I just find that when you're on a dirty mode for dirty chords, that you usually find that the treble pickups the nicest pickup to use on a Les Paul. As you move to the front pickup, this is your classic tones that you can have for your solo sounds. You probably know uh, this sort of tone. And you get beautiful sustain out of a Les Paul, obviously. I love Santana stuff, so. That's a sweet tone you'll get out of the front pickup of a Les Paul. Back to the dirty pickup, that's the back pickup. When you're in the middle, you can have that. Just adds a little bit more balls if you need it. If not, go back to the treble pickup. And that's the Les Paul Custom. This is a 1980, once again, this guitar is 30 years old and is absolutely beautiful to play. I'll see you in the store.